next update has a massive change, even bigger than no movement, and it's so risky and unexpected that no other Supercell game has attempted anything close to this. So let me tell you about it and how you can take full advantage of this to get extra free stuff next update in this. Mega news! Want the game to change dramatically in the upcoming two updates? When you think about like the, the amount of changes that we want to make, it would involve probably ripping the entirety of the progression, power progression out of the game. So he said this a few months ago. So now that update seven is passed, this means that it has to happen next update. This is why progression is so quick right now. Now people can max out an account in a matter of weeks, which is so unsustainable. So here's why they decided to get rid of power progression. We kind of realized that in a PvP game, especially a competitive PvP game, no matter how good you are, you are going to eventually blame it on the level differentiation between you and your opponent. Even if you lose like you're level 14 and an enemy is level 15, there's this kind of like mental mindset in which you by default to blame it on the higher number that is not, not really super satisfying feeling to have. I gotta admit, sometimes I do this too before I maxed out. It's definitely very interesting. Before I tell you how you can take advantage of this to get extra free stuff next update, as I said, this is very risky. Getting more power is a big motivator for you to keep grinding. Of course, not the Clash Royale style. A free to play player will log in every day to get the free rewards in quests and daily logins and such, and they'll use that to level up their characters to get more wins that used to be the main motivator right and now that wouldn't exist anymore so here's what they're gonna do to address that cosmetic progression <laughs> and also having like emotes and avatars and all these kind of things kind of connect all together in a way so it is going to be just one way so would it be like a trophy road where you get crystal trophies if you win or when you complete quests like the mini paths or would it be like the bling system in brawl stars bling you can buy most cosmetics with crystal coins in your sort of catalog so this would be what motivates you instead getting cool cosmetics right Right. To tell you my point, let's do a quiz. What currency relates to cosmetics? Is it A, gold, B, crystal coins, or C, the shield coin, the new cryptocurrency that I launched? The answer is B, but still, buy my crypto. Crystal coins will probably be the center of this change because it will be the only currency that actually has use after the update. Hero shards will be useless for obvious reasons. Star Stars will be also useless because I'm gonna assume that mini progression will be removed too, so all the minis that you unlock will be free starred immediately, and gold will be useless because they are already working on a better system to unlock minis and heroes. That doesn't involve just buying them with gold. So this means that crystal coins will be more valuable after the update because you can do more things with it. You can buy more things with it. So just don't spend your crystal coins on crystal boxes right now because there'll probably be way better deals after the update. When the crystal coins are MVZ, most valuable currency. It's a, it's a common saying, right? So now that only crystal coins will be useful, what happens to gold and, and shards? They don't really serve a purpose now. Of course, they won't just take them away with no compensation. They're not a <laughs> clash for her now. <laughs> So the most straightforward compensation they could do is take away your gold and shards and replace them for crystal coins. So the more gold and shards you save up now, the more crystal coins or cosmetic progression in general you get after the update. So why on earth would you buy luck boxes? You are just betting for an 80% chance of getting the same resources to purchase but for way less. I don't know about you, but I don't like the idea of spending 500 hero shards to get 10 hero shards back. And with an 80% chance, that's something you just cannot disregard. The main argument for luck boxes is that if you are maxed, there's nothing else you can do with your gold and shards anyway. But what we said just before completely debunked that because the next update it will be converted to cosmetic progression. <laughs> anyway, so for God's sake, don't even touch the luck boxes. It's only a way for Clash Money to drain your resources so you will start at the bottom of cosmetic progression and it is really working for them, for the people who didn't watch this video, but now you know. And because of this info, you can get a huge head start in the cosmetic progression next update. So you're getting more emotes, more avatars, more skins, and you're getting them quicker just cause you didn't let that beautiful blue box tempt you. And here's the wonderful part, even if I'm wrong, you wouldn't lose anything. 
after we find out what's really going on in small talk or many minutes, there's still an opportunity for you to buy the luck and crystal boxes back because the update wouldn't launch right after the announcement. So there's no harm in waiting right now to see what no power progression actually means specifically for progression in Clash Mini. Today, I'm not going to plug the end screen telling you to watch another video. This is news that people need to hear about ASAP. So I want you to share this video to just one person. Tell them to stop buying lock boxes and crystal boxes so we can all benefit from this change. Thank you.